वाई एन जंगले असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सरफेस फिनिश सिंबल एंड यूज ऑफ इट इन इंडस्ट्रियल ड्राइंग एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द आउटकम इज स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सरफेस डिफरेंट सरफेस फिनिश सिंबॉल्स इज यूज इन प्रोडक्शन ड्राइंग students will be able to read industrial drawings so content of this today's session different surface finish symbols and machining symbols so surface roughness or surface finish these are mostly same there there are four symbols included over here what is the meaning of this all four symbols we are going to discuss and how it is indicated and what is the meaning of each and every symbol it is given here it is in simple triangular form the serrated lines are nothing but a feature to be given with a surface finish symbol the first symbol a indicate the basic symbol and second b indicates when if the removal of material is not permitted then the circle is added for this symbol suppose we consider the casting cases the outside casting cases is generally not finished one your know, machining is not required in that case we can add this type of symbol there is no need of machining on that surfaces the third symbol indicates if the removal of material is material by machining is required a bar is added to the basic symbol that is this horizontal bar is added to this basic symbol this is third symbol fourth one when a special surface characteristics to be indicated a line is added to the longer arm of the basic symbol that is nothing but a, this longer arm is added suppose you want to specify some special machining process or sampling lathe something like this in that case this symbols can be used these are the four symbols which can be used for surface roughness to be represent likewise we'll move further for the next slide for discussion about next upcoming surfaces there are three symbols again here it may be obtained by any one production method this symbol a indicates by here this a indicated as a roughness value that is a ra value it can be obtained by any production method it may be casting machining or i can say for, uh, finishing process like this okay second thing the second figure indicates it must be obtained by removal of material by machining only okay if this horizontal line is added to the triangular line simply the edge is added that is meaning of the machining is required for the special surfaces simply here the third symbol as we discussed earlier there is no need of any material removal okay the by default reference value is maintained by manufacturing method only okay next figure we can discuss about what is the meaning of this different i can say symbols and indications maximum and minimum limits of surface roughness it is indicated by a1 and a2 okay if it is necessary to define the surface texture both before and after treatment and after treatment this should be explained by a suitable note as shown in figure that is nothing but suppose the roughness values maintained with a given value by milling method that is nothing but a machining method we can say milled is nothing but a machining method then it is indicated with that extended line over here if it is required that the final surface texture to be produced by one particular production method this method should be indicated on the extension line of the longer arm of the symbol like this simply if it is necessary to define surface texture both before and after treatment this should be explained by the suitable note or as shown in just like as a sampling length and the direction of lay this c indicates the sampling length and this perpendicular this symbol indicates the direction of flame and this is the overall surface roughness symbol used for 
feature to be given with the surface roughness seen but we'll move further so we understand about surface roughness symbols okay and how it is to be indicated basically but by which manufacturing method how much roughness value we can achieve it is indicated with one of the standardized table over here you can see the first column indicates serial number second column indicates the manufacturing process and the third column indicates the range of roughness value starting with 0.012 and 200 micron that is ra value these are uh, sand casting uh, can say casting basically over here then rolling processes over here then grinding there is a finishing process over here and the range is given for the same it is nothing but simply 6.3 to 50.8 to 6.3 as per the manufacturing method this roughness value can be obtained by this special manufacturing process which can be carried out on the surfaces to be machined or finished or i can say semi finished or surface uh, fully finished surfaces basically so manufacturing method or processes uh, wise this roughness value can be obtained here this is one of the standardized table likewise you can move further planing shaping drilling turning boring hopping surface grinding polishing burnishing starting with you can see sand casting and ending with super finishing process all values are given along with their roughness values in this table so that that ra value can be achieved it be, basically it, it depends on the functionality of the surfaces which ra value we can obtain basically okay if i consider the upper surface of the table it should be smooth because it is a working surface the lower of the same table lower surface of the same table it may be i can say uh, i can say it, it may be uh, uh, not a smooth or one okay not a smooth one it is accepted basically so as per the functionality we can maintain the manufacturing method applied and the ra value can be maintained for the specific manufacturing method so in this case one more important point we are going to discuss about direction of lay each and every manufacturing method it may be created with the different types of lays on the surfaces of the machined surface parts okay the direction of lay is the direction of the predominant surface patterns generated on the surfaces by the production method employed on the same surfaces or parts so what are the different types of direction of lay these are uh, parallel perpendicular cross section this can be achieved cross section can be achieved by the honing processes perpendicular it can be achieved by the i can say planing operations okay next multi direction it can be achieved with the cane uh, honing processes uh, circular patterns are generally for facing operations which we are, when we are doing facing operation on circular part to reduce the length basically on the circular shaft basically in that case the circular profiles are generated or lays are generated it can be indicated with this type of symbol it can be again indicated with the surface finish symbols with c alphabets over here okay, radial type of direction of lay these are the different uh, direction of lay we are discussed right now now we are moving about how this machining allowance or it can be we can call it as a machining symbol is indicated and what is the meaning of all those symbols you can see a b c d e and f what is the meaning of this all the symbols which can generally applied on the surfaces to be uh, uh, tolerance or surface finished okay the a indicates the ra value in a microns or micrometers it can be indicated with a value or it can be indicated with the triangular symbols upcoming session or upcoming slides we are going to discuss about those symbols again b production method c sampling length d direction of lay here d is nothing but direction of lay and e is nothing but a machining allowance it is allow uh, it is the allowance provided over here and f is nothing but a other roughness value in a bracket ra value a p is a production method that is a milling drilling finishing uh, honing whatever the uh, method you are applying over here it can be noted over here sampling lathe up to what sample it can be measured it is given over here d direction of lay earlier we discussed as per the manufacturing method the lay direction may be changed so that that specific feature 
should be manufactured with type of symbols it is given over here and these are the roughness symbols you can see four triangle three triangle two triangle single triangle and this is nothing but the ra values for this and it can be indicated with a roughness grade numbers just pause your slide and get about all the information over here and this is one example with the number of grades n1 n7 n4 n3 this is nothing but these roughness are a grade numbers okay that is roughness value it may be indicated with the grade numbers or it may be indicated indicated with roughness value numbers this is about uh, today's session on surface finish symbols direction of lay i referred for this asme 14.5 2009 thank you all for this